Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to get console commands in Baldur's Gate 3 using the Norbyte script extender. So, this is an updated guide here. We're going to want to slow download this. There's going to be a file and we have to do something special in order to get this to work properly, but I want to be going through all the steps in this. So, we're going to get this downloaded file here and what we're going to do with that is once we get into the downloads, we're going to right click and make sure that we extract it. Now, it's important that we do extract it and not just uh, try to move it from this file so once we get into that we're gonna open up another tab so what we have to do is we have to go into this pc we got to go into the windows uh file here we're going to go to program files 86 scroll down until you find steam and we're going to find the common um or steam apps and then common and then we're going to go into Baldur's gate 3 and then this bin file here is where we're going to double click into so next, what we got to do is drag and drop the dwrite.dll file into here. Now, there is one more step that we got to do. We actually got to create a, um, a note here, but we're going to edit this in a way that it's going to allow us to access the, um, the script extender. So we're going to create a new text document called script extender settings. So just like that. And there's going to be a, we got to open this up. So open and we're going to be adding in this exact line of code here. So console, create console equals true. I'll put this in the description as well. And then we're going to go save as. It's important that we go save as. Now, this is a part that a lot of people have issues with is making sure that we save this as a .js JSN or JSON file, my bad. J-S-O-N, kind of similar to my name, just minus the A. And then see here, text documents, you got to make sure that you click all files. So this will make sure that we save this into the JSON file here. So just go save. And then we're just going to close that down. So we now have the script extender settings .json. And then with this, we just got to go into our Baldur's Gate 3. And you're going to maybe get a notification that there's some mods installed. That's okay. You can just ignore that. We're just going to boot the game up. Now, it's important that we uh, make sure that you see that little screen there that popped up. That's actually going to make sure that we do have the console commands. So, uh, yeah, once we're loading it up, you can also press the Windows key. And you're going to see that there is another screen here. So, that is why we had to create the .js at .json file in order for us to be able to load into and create the uh, script extender here. So there's a few different things that we can do with it. It's actually very useful because you can revive creatures. Uh, you can uh, give yourself items. You can give yourself gold and a whole lot of other things. So once we boot into the game, you're free to really do what you want with it. So uh, yeah, you're going to see down the bottom right hand corner when you boot up Baldur's Gate 3, it'll say the script extender there. If you're getting that without the script extender, you're going to have to create that file that I just took us through on how to do. And I did it basically from scratch. And I will link that down into the comments below. But it really is as simple as that. And then once you get into the game, you can literally just um, open up the script extender here. Now, in order to do the script extender, uh, once the, you have to make sure the game is fully booted up, but you're going to have to press enter first. That's an important step. I've seen some people that had issues with getting this to work. You actually do have to hit enter at first in order for it to accept the console commands. But once you're into the game, you're going to hit enter, and then you can see that little S there, and then you can enter in your console commands. So there's a ton of different ones that we can do in this game, but... Uh, yeah, this is a pretty, I think this is probably the best uh, guide in how to figure out how to get the script extender or console commands in Baldur's Gate 3. Let me know if you have any questions, because I've troubleshot a lot of people's issues with this so far, and I want to help out. So yeah, that's how to get console commands in Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.